in Los Angeles. Everyone is getting down and dirty. Well, not quite. A cuddling craze is redefining the boundaries of human interaction. From apps to parties, it seems not everything is about sex. So, let the spooning begin. Still ahead, let's talk about sex, baby. So do you prefer sex or cuddling? Sex, for sure. Sex may be a hot topic for some, but a growing group argues that cuddling is better than doing the deed. Our report from Under the Covers is next. Well, let's face it, we live in a touchy-feely world. We're always shaking hands and hugging or kissing, but some people still feel like they aren't getting enough. Lucky for them, now there are tons of options out there if you need a fix. Cuddling, yes, cuddling is the latest trend sweeping the nation. Cuddling parties, professional cuddling, even apps. Fusions, Eric Herbs went out to California to try it out for himself. Cuddling. These days, it's all the rage. And we're not just talking about spooning. A newfound popularity for cuddling is redefining how we think about human interaction. The industry, yes, there's an industry, got its start about five years ago when the first professional cuddling business opened in California. Now, hundreds have popped up around the country, and it doesn't end there. There are cuddle parties, workshops, and bring them up to your ears. even cuddle websites and apps. This year, Portland, Oregon hosted the first ever cuddle convention. Welcome to the Cuddle Revolution. Have you heard of these cuddle sanctuaries? These cuddling groups where people come together and learn different cuddling poses and then <laughs> spend time cuddling together? No, I haven't. I mean, it sounds like something out of Burning Man. Basically, what a cuddling party is, is a non-sexual, non-threatening environment where men and women can go and explore, you know, physical touch. Dr. Karen Stewart is a sex therapist in LA. She thought she'd heard it all until one of her patients told her that he went to a cuddle party. What, what I would say regarding, like, what are the blurred lines between sexual interaction versus cuddling is, frankly, I think it's a very, very slippery slope. But studies show there are actual medical benefits to cuddling. Human touch is proven to lower blood pressure, strengthen your immune system, reduce stress, and improve sleep. What are the benefits of cuddling? The benefits of cuddling, in my mind, are First of all, human interaction. If you really think about it, if you're not in a relationship or living with somebody, how many days go by without you physically touching somebody? You know, we need those endorphins. We, you know, parts of our brain get ignited when you physically touch somebody. So the benefits are feeling good, touching. There's no pressure because it's not sexual. At this point, you may be thinking, wait a minute, how is cuddling non-sexual? Dr. Stewart, like many others, isn't convinced this is totally innocent. I mean, you know, let's face it. Men get erections when they become aroused. It's a very natural and comfortable part of li life. And if he's cuddling with a man or woman and he becomes aroused, it's an obvious thing. So I think, yes, the lines are very blurred in certain ways. But I think anybody who attends those parties has to be ready to say no. Welcome. Come on through. So, Fusion went to one of these cuddle parties to see what it's really all about. Um, my name is Jean Franzblau, and I am your cuddle facilitator for the afternoon. That's right. She said cuddle facilitator. This is going to be a group of two right here. So how does someone get a title like that? In my own personal life, I felt really starved for touch. And what I learned is that a person who is touch starved is not going to make great choices in their romantic life if they're so, so hungry for touch. But can somebody just say cuddling in general is a sexual activity? I would disagree completely. I truly believe that we are meant to have human contact with each other outside of the scope of sexuality. Jean calls her event the Cuddle Sanctuary, and despite our early skepticism, she promises there's nothing sexual about it. Now, at this event, it's rated G, and that's really, really important for everyone to know that it doesn't shift, and it's not like, wink, wink, really, it's something else. It's absolutely rated G. Has there ever been a situation where a man got a little excited downstairs and you had to deal with that somehow? Great point. It's not only men who get excited downstairs. Women get excited downstairs too. And what I would ask you to do is don't stoke the flames of your arousal. She acknowledges the uncertainty that surrounds cuddle parties. Respondents are unsure. 
They are unsure. What is this really going to be like? I mean, that's me. I'm totally unsure. I have no idea what to expect. Well, I'm really glad because if you weren't and you never attended one of these, I'd be like, he's lying. So what can you expect at a cuddle party? Face stroking, a shoulder rub, lower back massage or back massage, a foot rub. And we tried it all. I love it. I love cuddling. Um, for me, there's a sense of a community here. There's an openness in the people that you meet at Cuddles that you just don't find anywhere else. But cuddle parties aren't the only way to get your cuddle fix. New technology is revolutionizing the craze. You're the first cuddling app. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's an odd place to be, and we took a lot of the heat when we first launched because we had to do a little bit of education, too. Damon Brown is one of the co-founders of the app Cuddler. It launched in September 2014 and immediately hit the Apple Store Top 10. It is a very unusual gray area, but with the hundreds of thousands of people that have downloaded it, like, there is something that we're tapping into. I downloaded Cuddler, I believe, within the first few days because I wanted to know how it worked. What I found as a woman is that it wasn't, I didn't quite feel safe enough. To be honest, it doesn't work that well. They need to fix it a, bit, a little bit. Turns out Gene and Zoheb were onto something. Just six months after launching and after we first spoke to Damon, Cuddler closed up shop. In a statement, he told Fusion, we did something truly different and learned a bunch from the experience. Right now, though, we have to pause what we're doing to reassess things and figure out where the conversation will go next. But there's still other apps out there, like Cuddle Bids or the website Cuddle Comfort. And experts predict it's only a matter of time before we see more. I think the cuddling craze will probably stay around for a while, and I think it'll just keep getting bigger. Fascinating. I hope it's not a craze. Um, I hope that it simply just becomes something that we do. You know, like, you want to go to a movie? You want to go to a cuddle? Maybe we'll take a walk and hold hands. Like, what do we feel like? If everybody got cuddled in the world, we wouldn't have any wars. So, are you in the mood for a cuddle? Let's Can I give you a hug? hug? Yeah. <laughs> Joining me now is Fusion's Eric Herb. So, um, do you change your perspective? Do you, did you find it interesting now? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, I went into this freaking out. I was like, this is disgusting. You didn't want to do it. I just thought cuddling was totally sexual, but what I learned at being at this cuddle sanctuary that it was totally platonic, non-sexual at all, and people just want to have touch and feel, feel good and be happy, and that's what this was. Is it free? No. no. So yeah. she charges between $25 and $35. It was two hours. The first hour, you're learning all these cuddle poses, and then the second hour, you're pairing off and cuddling. Are there certain positions of limit, certain rules that you I mean, have to follow? No nudity, no mm -hmm. kissing. It's a G-rated event, and it really felt that way. Uh, tell me about professional cuddlers. What do they do? Yeah, so there are services. These professional mm -hmm. cuddlers, they charge anywhere from $60 an hour to $400. $60? Yeah, to $400, $500 for an overnight session, and they meet with people who want to cuddle for various reasons, whether they're, they lost somebody, they don't get it enough in their marriage, or um, they just feel self-conscious and need that touch. Would you recommend that to people? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I would go back, uh, which is really weird back, to say. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you want to go? I'll take you to a cuddle um, party. I don't know. Let me think about it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, but we'll do it the Mexican way. So thanks so much, Eric. And thanks. Oh, hug, yes.